Welcome back. We got a fun one for you today. This is Break Shot, one of the few Capcom tables that we got out in the wild. And we're going to do a full tutorial and then a playthrough right here, right now, on Digital Victory. All right, let's talk about the specifics of this table. Break Shot by Capcom. It's a pool themed table, as you can tell. And the goal is to go through three different pool games. First, you got eight ball. Then you got to play a game of nine ball and then a game of rotation. Once you get all three of those complete, you get to the wizard mode and that's called cutthroat countdown. And we'll talk about those specifically, but first we're going to get a look at some of the table elements and some of the unique features about this table. As you can see, most of the tables pretty straightforward, very traditional pinball in a lot of ways, a left ramp, a right ramp. You got some drop targets on the left, another set on the right up there. You got a saucer over here to catch the ball. But the most unique feature is the center pocket section. This section in the middle with the three capture holes and looks like a little gate in the front, a post. The center pocket section is used to lock the balls for multi-ball and it also is used to help in your pool games to sink balls. And we'll get to that in a second as well when we talk about the pool games. You have captured balls on the left there. This little holder of two of them and when you hit it up to hit the captured balls, you have to hit it hard enough so that the second one hits the target in the back or else it doesn't register. When it does register, it's going to light up one of those green lights to the right of it. There's three of them. Once you've lit all three green lights, you light the extra ball. Now the ramps here uh, not only put the ball through the top into the section with the three rollovers, but they also initiate something called super cues. And the way super cues work is these little targets right here at the base of the center pocket section. When you hit those, you will initiate the super cue for the opposite side. See these purple arrows? Those point to those targets. And when you hit the right target, you're gonna light the super cue on the left. Now that the super cue is on the left, you can hit the ball up there and does a few things. Number one, it sinks a ball in whatever the current game you're playing in you need to sink a ball, it'll just sink one of the balls that you're going after. Also, you get 60,000 points. If you continue to hit that super cue, it stays lit. You get 60,000 times the current number of consecutive hits that you've got. So if you hit it five times in a row, you get 300,000 for that one hit. The very next time you get it, you're gonna get 3,600. So it's cumulative and uh, very valuable, but it's, I don't think I've ever done it more than like three times. It's not that easy. Now this little mini loop up to the top, that's called the bank shot. Okay, it's right behind those three stand-up targets there. And there's a little flipper below it, as you can see there. Now, if, by the way, using the little flipper is about the only way to hit it through there. It's very difficult with the regular flippers. But once you hit it through that loop, it does a few things. It lights it up, which is great, but the ball will swing around and come right back to that small flipper again. Once you get it lit, if you hit it up there again consecutively, it will sink a ball towards whatever game you're currently playing in. And you get 100,000 points. Very similar to the Super Qs, if you continue to sink it consecutively, you get 100,000 for each shot times the ball that you're on. So if you, on your third consecutive hit, you're gonna get 300,000 for that one hit. And of course, you'll continue to sink balls in the game you're playing. Now, Bank Shot is also used for the Skill Shot. If you can soft plunge it so that it falls short of going into the rollovers there, it'll come back down to that small flipper and you can hit it through there for your skill shot. Now some of the other little unique side modes we got are call your shot. That's one of them. That's this left in lane here. If you drop the ball down this left in lane and immediately shoot it into the eight ball saucer there, it's going to say call your shot and the DMD will rotate three different shots. The left ramp, the center pocket award, and that right ramp. You hit a flipper to choose one of them, and it'll immediately knock the ball out. If you're able to hit it immediately off the flipper towards that particular one you selected, it will automatically award you a win in the current pool game you're playing. Pro tip, once it locks the ball up there, it knocks it out softly. So if you just hold this right flipper in the up position, it'll drop it softly onto it, you can capture it, 
and hit it up that left ramp. So when it says call your shot, wait till it to show that left ramp, hit the flipper to choose it, wait for it to drop softly, and hit it up the left ramp. Boom, your pool game is done. That particular capture hole is also a collect bonus hole. Now this is interesting because as you play, you'll continue to sink balls and you'll get certain amount of points for each of the balls that you sink. And those are all bonus points. And at the end of the ball, when you drain, you get those bonus points. But at any time, when you hit it into that saucer, you will collect whatever bonus points you've accumulated to that point. Once you've done it once in a ball, you can't, you can't do it anymore. But here's the trade-off. Do you try and hit it in there early to just to capture whatever points you can? Or do you play it for a while, trying to gather up lots of bonus points and then hit it in the ball to capture those points? It's kind of a risk reward thing, you know? Obviously, the longer you take, the more dangerous it is you'll lose the ball, but you also don't want to lose uh, on free bonus points. Kind of a neat mechanic. And that piggybacks with the rollovers there. Rollovers are typical pinball rollovers in that once you complete all three, you increase your bonus multiplier. Between that and the bonus points you get for that capture hole, works together really nice. Now, there's two different kind of multi-balls in this game. The first one is Ballarama. When you shoot a ball into that center pocket award, that little post is going to pop up right behind it and it's going to capture it just like you see there. Now, you hit that center post again and it knocks that ball into one of the capture holes. Now you have one ball captured. When you have one ball locked, you have enabled the Ballarama possibility. And that's a simple two ball multi-ball and you get it by hitting it into the eight ball saucer. Ballarama will start. The moose will tell you on the DMD that ball will release and you got a two ball multi-ball going. You hit the eight ball saucers for jackpots and they're 100K plus 10K for each second that accumulates and goes up as you play. You can't hold the ball though. So it's not like you can just, you know, capture each of the multi-balls and wait for it to get really high and then try and hit it in there for the jackpot. Once you do that, it stops accumulating. So you have to continue to play, continuing to try and hit it into that jackpot. It sounds really neat. It's kind of risk rewardy, but it's a multi-ball and you're basically trying to keep your multi-ball alive anyway. At least I am. I'm not, I'm not skillful enough to kind of wait for the points to accumulate it before hitting it in there, but it is kind of fun. That's the two ball multi-ball, Ballarama. Now the next multi-ball is Break Shot Frenzy. And it acts the same as before. When you lock a ball up there, that's fine, but you have to lock two balls into that center pocket area. When you get two balls locked in there, you can shoot straight up in there again, and that'll enable your Break Shot Frenzy. It's a three ball multi-ball, and all the scores are tripled on the whole play field. So you can just continue to whack balls. As long as you can keep it alive, you're gonna gain a lot of points. But also, the middle center pocket thing is open for an easy jackpot. You get 200K and it increases with time, similar to the way the eight ball one did. But it doesn't last forever, so get those easy jackpot points where you can. That's your break shot frenzy multi-ball. Now, back to the original goal of the game, is to defeat all three pool games, eight ball, nine ball, and rotation, to get to the wizard mode, which is cutthroat countdown. Eight ball is very simple and it's just like regular pool. After you plunge the ball, it'll determine whether your stripes are solids, and then the different elements on the table, as you can see, have little pool balls next to it, all the proper numbered pool balls that you play with. You gotta hit those things to light up the pool balls on the table, like you see on the play field here. Once you get them all lit, you gotta shoot the eight ball saucer there to complete eight ball. Seems pretty simple, straightforward. Don't forget, you can also hit the super Q lanes to sink balls, and that'll light up for you when you do that. Note the drop targets that have the balls next to it. You gotta hit that entire bank of drop targets to light up a ball. Once you finish the eight ball game, it'll automatically start nine ball. Now in real nine ball and pool, you have to sink one through nine balls in order. Here, you just need to hit certain targets to sink the next ball. Those targets are the loops, the drop targets, and the ramps. Now a real fun feature during nine ball is that a hit to that center pocket, it collects a lit prize. And see those three prizes in front of it? They say points, special, and extra ball. Well, as you play nine ball, that light will rotate over. One of those triangles will be lit during nine ball at any given time. Again though, you can't capture the ball and just hold it all day because once you do that, it's just gonna stay on points. But you can capture it for a short amount of time. So when you see, obviously, I believe in virtual pinball, extra ball is the most valuable one. Once you see it start lighting up special, you know extra ball is coming next. 
So then you can capture it for just a short amount of time and once it rotates over, try and hit it up the middle. That's what I do and it's not that difficult. So obviously a very valuable thing in the game and I recommend doing that. Now the final pool game is rotation. Again, in real pool, rotation, you have to sink the balls in order one through 15 in order to win it. But on the pinball game, you just have to hit certain things to sink the next ball. And that's the super lanes and the center saucer. So you continue to hit those over and over until you get all of them done. And when you do, it starts cutthroat countdown. Cutthroat countdown is the wizard mode. And the way it works is you'll get a 60 second timer started. All right, and you have 10 seconds to hit each ball that is called out. It'll call out the three ball, the eight ball, the seven ball, etc. And you have 10 seconds to hit that ball and then it's gonna automatically move on to another ball. After that 60 second timer ends, the center pocket is gonna be opened up for your super jackpot. And the points of that jackpot is based on the number of balls you were able to hit during those 10 second gaps. So if you were able to hit five balls during that time in the 60 seconds, you're gonna get 10 million for that super jackpot. Once you do, it ends and you're starting over. It's a cool game, very fun, uh, pretty simple rules. Like most pinballs, the longer you stay alive, the better you'll do, and those extra balls go a long way towards keeping it that way. You get a free game at five million. Uh, I've gotten more than that, but we're gonna stick to five million as my goal today. Let's play. All right, let's go. And get a soft plunge. No, wasn't able to quite take enough off of it. You got the 11. Shoot for the super cue. Oh, got a super cue lit on the right, on the left there. The 13. Cool. Get up there, there. Oh, no. Uh, way early in there to get that early bonus, but points are points, right? Super Q on the left, go for that. Yep, cool. Super Q. All right, so I sent a ball in there, but again, it doesn't lock in the hole yet until you hit that center post to kind of shoot the ball up in there. Try and hit that center post to lock a ball. No, not quite. Do it here. Not enough juice on it. Shoot. Not a very good first ball. Man. Made some progress towards the game though. I just got to shoot it into the eight ball to finish that game of eight ball. And I get onto the game of nine ball. There we go. Oh, why didn't that finish that game of eight ball? Oh, I still got 15. All right, we can get that. I'm blind, huh? Right, I've got a ball lit, or the green light lit towards the extra ball on the captive ball over there. Hey, hey, there's two. So, I don't know if you see what I'm talking about. The two captive balls, I've got two of those green lights lit. Hit the captive balls really solidly one more time and I'll light the extra ball. Hey, hey, there we go. Let's get it. Good save. Uh, I got the 15 ball up top that I need to knock out to finish the eight ball game. It's behind those drop, drop targets there. So we'll see if we can knock those out. God bless it. Ah. Oh, well. 
I'm not too good. I really need to get that extra ball. I really need to get that extra ball because uh, I've blown it on the first two. I've only got a million. Haven't even finished one game of pool yet. Not looking good. Five million's a long ways away. But you never know. Woo! Jeez. Yikes. There we go. Let's go. All right. Two more targets to get that 15 ball. There's one. Hey, there's two. Nice. Now I got to shoot it into the eight ball. Oh, shoot. Wow. Little nudge there was right on time. So, once I shoot it into the eight ball, the game of nine ball will start. And remember, I told you in nine ball, those three lights in, center, in front of the center section will rotate. So, while I'm playing nine ball, I'm going to try and wait till it's about to light up that extra ball light and shoot it in there. You can stack extra balls in this game, which is great. But first, I got to hit it in the eight ball hole. Ah. Ooh, that's a bonus times four now. That's good. I just realized I have not lit that 15 ball yet because I hit the drop targets, but there's a stand-up target behind them I have to hit. Shoot. Okay, well, let's do it. Got it. Nice. You got the eight ball. Now we're gonna play nine ball. Yes. yes. Yeah. Trick shot. Extra ball was lit right away, and I got it. So I have two extra balls loaded right now, right on. Uh, let's keep playing. Super cube. Get in there. Oh, nope. Now, can I stack another extra ball from that? I wonder. Super cube. You got the four. Super cube. So each time I'm hitting the super cues, it's collecting or sinking the balls that I need. Nice. Hey, hey. Let's go. We're gonna play rotation. All right, rotation. And again, the center and, oh, son of a gun. Dang it. But that's okay. Um, I have two extra balls lined up. Maybe I can somehow sneak in another extra ball during this. Nice bonus. Shoot again. Hey, hey. Ooh, I've got, uh, looks, oh, I don't know if I can get an extra ball on those three green lights anymore. Super Q. The two ball. The 
three ball. Hey, nice bonus. All right, Super Q is on the right. I'm on the left, but that's okay. We'll just work it around if I can. Let's go. Super Q on the right. Oh, I missed it. By the way, it's worth 10,000, by the way, if you hit that ball without anything lit. Shoot. Oh, man. Oh, come Doing on. good, one too. Oh, well. Got my initials in. Let's uh, figure that out here. Well, I did good there. And we got... <laughs> Are you kidding me? 4.6. We did not make the 5 million. Dang it. Uh, that was a good game, though. I almost got to the uh, cutthroat countdown, but not quite. Anyway, awesome game. I recommend it. Thanks so much for watching, folks. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.